All right, so here's our second lecture with the stylus showing you guys how to work different genetic problems. In this one, the two types of problems I want to focus on are what we call codominance, and the example of that will be blood typing, and then sex linkage, which is what uh, happens and is associated with the X chromosome in regards to X and Y or X and X. The, the chromosomes that determine your gender. That's why we call it sex linkage. Okay, so those are going to be the two types we're going to work on here. Um, the first one is going to be blood typing, and what we want to start with is what are the four possible blood types in the human population. Okay, so in humans we have blood type A, we have blood type B, we have blood type AB, and blood type O. Alright, so you got A, you have B, you have AB, and then you have blood type O. Okay, so when you have these blood types, you can be, a person is either homozygous for blood type A, meaning they carry two dominant A alleles, or a person could be heterozygous, A with a little O. Both of those individuals are going to be viewed or seen as blood type A. A B individual, B, B, or B, O. Okay, homo and heterozygous. A, B individuals are easy. They only have a big A and a big B. That is it for their alleles. There's no other option. And then blood type O is two recessive O's. So we call this codominance because A is dominant to B. Or I'm sorry, A is dominant to O. So if you put an A and an O together, it expresses as A blood type. A blocks it. A overshadows O. B is dominant to O. You put a B and an O together and you get B. O is a recessive version or variation. But when you put A and B together, that's when our third or fourth option, the AB blood type, shows up. Okay? So again, keep in mind, this is your phenotype and this is your geno. Genetics. I will be asking for both. I want you to be able to tell me what is the genetic makeup of a particular individual based upon what you physically can see with their blood type. Guys, okay. all right, so let's go back to our problem here. A man with blood type B. So we know, all right, man's got B blood. One of his parents had O. This man marries a woman who has AB. And we want to know how many of their kids should have blood type B. What is the theoretical percentage of their children with blood type B? All right, so you got a man. There's the box for the guy. Circle for the woman. The man is blood type B. Here's his phenotype. One of his parents is, let's just say it's his father. It could be his mother. It doesn't make a difference. One of his parents is O. He marries a woman who is AB. And they want to know what percentage of their kids will have B blood. We don't care if they're boys or girls, we're just worried about blood type. Okay, so what we need to do is establish the alleles for both of these parents. So I'm going to change color here. For the AB person, A allele, B allele. That's all she can have. She is AB. For dad, we know he has a B allele because he expresses B. But we need to figure out his other allele. Now, if his father is O, since O is recessive, he has to have two little O's. That means one of these little O's came from this dad, and this man here is going to be a B-O individual. Okay? So what we do then is we set up a Punnett square. You 
have to show opponent square. If you do not, you will not get full credit. Okay, so please guys, draw out the square. If the square is correct, but you figure out the ratio is wrong, I can give you a partial credit. If you just guess and throw a ratio out there and it's wrong, I can't give you anything. I can't give you credit for anything, so it's a zero. Okay, so show the square. Okay, so mom, she's going to have an A in that section. She's going to have a B in that section. We do not know which of those alleles will go to her children. Dad, he's going to have a B here, and he's going to have an O here. We don't know which of those alleles will go to his kids. The inside boxes here, these, so this, 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 those represent children. Those are the possible children these two parents can produce. So if mom's A combines with dad's B, you get an AB child. Mom's B, dad's B, you have a B child. Mom's A, dad's O, have an A child, and if mom's B and dad's O, you have another B child. Two out of four of those kids should have B blood. It's what we would predict. 50% is the predicted percentage of kids that will have B blood from these two parents. So if they have four children, we're expecting two of the four to have B. You won't know which one is homozygous or which one is heterozygous. They're both just going to express B blood. Okay? So that is our example of blood typing. This is a codominance scenario when we look at genetics. Okay? All right. So let me clear that one. And let's take a look at this colorblindness scenario. Okay. So this one we're going to look at. This next problem here is color blindness. Now, in color blindness, we're looking at a sex linked trait. So, big, huge hint, guys. When you see the term sex linked, key up on those words. That means you are working with the X and Y chromosomes. Most sex linked traits are going to be recessive meaning it takes little alleles for that trait to show up, okay? But absolutely look at those words. If you miss it, you're not going to be able to solve the problem. It has to work with the X and the Y chromosome. Okay, so again, on sex linkage, XX equals females. There's a female symbol. XY equals males. All right. So sex link. Females. 2X chromosomes. All right. Now with sex linkage, this scenario, you have red green color blindness is recessive. In order to be color blind, you would have to have as a female two recessive alleles. All right, so this is a colorblind woman. Oh, that's supposed to be a D. I'm sorry. This is a colorblind woman here who has two recessive alleles for that trait. They're found on her X chromosomes. If a woman is completely normal and she can see color, she's going to have two big Bs. So we're going to say she's normal here. Normal. She can see color. She can differentiate red and green. But this is the challenge with females with sex link traits. She could be a carrier and still see color. Carriers can see color. They just carry the allele for that trait. Okay? All right. Now, guys, simpler with guys. If a guy is colorblind, he has an X with a little b and a Y chromosome. Y says male. X says sex link trait. Okay. Now, a normal male is going to be big B on his X and then a Y. That's it. There are no carrier men. It's not possible for a man to be a carrier of a sex link trait. Either he has it and expresses it, 
or he does not. So in our scenario here, we have a colorblind woman. This is the woman that we're working with here. She is colorblind. She cannot see color. She marries, ha marries a man who has normal vision. So the man has normal vision. Okay, so when we set up the square, mom is colorblind. She cannot differentiate red and green. Dad is normal. He can differentiate red and green. And we want to know what's going to happen to their kids. What do we expect? What do we predict? So if dad's big B allele combines with mom's little b, they produce a daughter who is a carrier. So this girl right here is going to be a carrier for colorblindness. Dad's big B combines with mom's other little b. Hey, she's a carrier as well. So the expectation is both of the daughters are going to be carriers. Both girls will be able to see color. They'll differentiate red and green, but they carry the allele for color blindness. Now the sons, mom's going to give an X with a little b to her son. Dad is going to give a Y chromosome. That's what makes it his son. If mom's other X combines with dad's Y, the son is still colorblind. So X little b and Y equals a son or sons who are colorblind. So thing to keep in mind when we look at sex link traits mom determines the son's trait all right in sex linkage mom so guys if you have a sex link trait colorblindness muscular dystrophy hemophilia baldness etc that allele came from your mother so to express that recessive sex link trait, you inherited the allele from your mom. Girls, you will get one of your X chromosomes from your mother, one from your father. It's a 50-50. Okay? So in order to have a colorblind woman, dad would have to be colorblind. And mom would have to at least carry it in order for them to produce a daughter who is colorblind. So this woman here in this problem, her father had to be colorblind and her mother had to at least carry the allele for colorblindness. Okay, so big thing though, look for those words right there. Look for, oh, not that, not that, sorry. Look for the words that say sex link. That is the key. And when you see those two words, automatically go to the X and the Y chromosome to solve this problem. Okay, so sex linkage, we also looked at blood typing. Definitely make sure you guys can do these. You'll see them on the exam.